Today I'll show you the easiest free way of using Elementor to add cool animation and graphics like this on your WordPress site. It is super simple and does not require any coding. First, I'll show you how to add animated graphics using a free plugin called Lottie Elementor plugin. So on the WordPress dashboard, look for Lottie Elementor. This is the plugin we need. So let's install and activate it. Next, go to pages and click on edit with Elementor. Now in the new tab, search for Lottie files. Since I want to add a rating animation on my website, I look for rating and it gives me these cool graphics to choose from. I like this one. So I'll select it and click on download. If you want to customize this graphic, just go to the right and select color palettes and choose any color combination you like. Next, let's see how to add this graphic to the website. First on the right side, Click on this icon to open the settings and enable this option. This is the link we'll embed on our site. So let's copy it. Now let's come back to the Elementor page. On the left side, search for Lottie widget. Here it is. Drag and drop the JSON animation widget right beside the testimonial heading. Here, paste the animation link, but for some reason, the graphic is static. So let's fix it. First, go to the JSON based animation setting. Here, change the play on settings from its default value to auto play. This will make sure that the animation starts playing automatically when the page loads. Next, enable loop animation so that the animation does not stop ever. To adjust the size of animation, go to render JSON. Here, you can choose the rendering method. So if you prefer a smaller size, select render as canvas. This option renders the animation at half the size of the render as SVG option. But for now, let's stick with the SVG format because it provides better clarity and quality. Next, in the style tab, then change the maximum width of the animation to this. I'll align the animation with this to match the layout of the testimonial heading so that it fits better with the design. Hmm, this looks fine to me. So let's go ahead and save the changes. Click on update and preview it from here. You can see that the animation is added perfectly and it looks really cool. Now I'll show you how to add cool animation to the website's element like images, text, and blocks. Before we move on, we need to make sure that our site is fast because adding customizations like these can slow down even a new website and drive away visitors. So I'll go to elif.net, sign up from here, enter my website URL, and click continue. Elif will now optimize your site and it does everything that your site needs for a 90 plus score like caching, image optimization, lazy loading, and everything else. That's why you don't need to use multiple plugins for performance anymore. Just a lift is enough. The visual regression will also help you detect if any changes happened on your site. And in the rare occurrence, if you don't get a 90 plus speed score, you can just ping the free support here and they'll take care of it. Now let's move on to the next step. Let's go back to Elementor and select the first heading. Go to advanced, then motion effects in the entrance animation. There are many effects to choose from. I'll choose slide in up. Similarly, select the text editor, go to advanced and apply the same motion effect. Let's do the same thing for button as well. For the social media widget, go to advanced, then motion effects and add the slide in left effect. Next, I want the heading text in this section to appear from the left side. So select the heading, go to advanced, then motion effects. Select the entrance animation as slide in left. I'll add the same text to the text editor and set the animation duration to slow. For the next part, let's add some other effects in this section. Select the heading, go to advance, then motion effects and choose fade in. I'll add the same effect to the text editor as well. Lastly, for the testimonials, I'll add the slide in up effect using the same steps. I think I'm done. So let's go down, click update to save changes and to view it, click here. Hmm, looks good to me. Comment below if you have any questions and I'll help you out. In this three minute video, I'll show you a free plugin to triple your site speed. You're really gonna thank me for this. So click here and I'll see you there.